Hello students, today we shall discuss question number 5 of 1.6 figure it out. We have completed till question number 4 and this is the last question of this exercise and also the chapter. To get from one shape to the next shape in the coach snowflake sequence, one replaces each line segment by a speed bump. A speed bump is also called as a speed breaker. It is used to slow down the motor vehicle in order to improve road safety. As one does this more and more times, the changes become tinier and tinier with very very small line segments. How many total line segments are there in each shape of the coach snowflake? This is the first question and what is the corresponding number sequence? So first we will draw the coach snowflake figure. I have drawn the first one. It's like a triangle, an equilateral triangle with three equal sides. Now the next shape in this sequence is you need to divide this into three equal parts and draw a triangle here like a speed bump here. So you need to draw a triangle. So it will be like something like this. Then a triangle, a speed bump again here. From here you can draw a speed bump. this looks like a star. To draw the next shape in the sequence you need to draw the speed bumps that means you need to draw small triangles here on each of the line segments like this. So let's do that. Each line segment will have these small triangles. I have used pencil to draw a rough figure because it becomes easier to draw. You can also do the same thing. This is how the third shape looks like. To draw the next shape you need to draw small speed bumps on each of the line segments. So that's little difficult to draw. Like here you would have like this and then one speed bump, speed bump like this. So that is little difficult to draw. So it would look somewhat like this. We need to count the number of line segments. Here it is 1, 2, 3. So just 3 line segments. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Here if you count you will find 48 line segments. For the next one it would be 192. The next one would be 768. So the first shape has 3 line segments. Second one 12, third one 48, 192, 768 and so on. So this is the number sequence that we get and how do we get this? This first one is 3 into 4 to the power of 0. 4 to the power of 0 is 1. So 3 into 1 is 3. Rule here is 3 times powers of 4. Again we will multiply 4 to this. So it will be 3 into 4 to the power of 1. Here it is 3. This is 3 into 4 or we can write it as 3 into 4 to the power of 1. Here it will be 3 into 4 into 4 or we can write it as 3 into 4 to the power of 2. Next one is 3 into 4 into 4 into 4. 3 times. That means 3 into 4 to the power of 3. How many times we are multiplying 4? That comes as a power. Here the power is 0, power 1, power 2, power 3. For the next one it will be 3 into 4 to the power of 4. So this is the rule that we follow to make the shapes of this given sequence. So you can write the number sequence is 3, 12, 48, 192 and so on. That is 3 times powers of 4. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you.